here to speak about you, Evos. What are you, Evos? <clears throat> well, I'm able to say to you an interesting thing. I'm also responsible for UFOs. We've also designed them within this reality, within this system of consciousness. But it came from an interesting idea, actually. One day, our race, interdimensionally, um, noticed spaceships, UFOs, flying around in existence. Now, spaceships, the manifestation of them, their origin, come from beings who were playing with metamorphosis, meaning transforming themselves into different shapes. They were actually beings who played with that in the dimensions. So spaceships were actually the manifestation of beings in a different shape, which was um, the idea from that derived from the Anunnaki, who were shapeshifters. So they thought, why shapeshift into form? Why not shapeshift into different forms? So, spaceships but became the technological manifestation of the mind-consciousness system of beings. Really? Not yet realized, but of course. So, within this reality, a long, long time ago, they were... they played with spaceships here in this atmosphere. So, they would, including us occasionally, would come and just speed around because it was fun. Especially playing with such primitive mind sources such as human beings going, ah, what is that? Spending ten years on one sighting, wondering what it is, figuring out what it could mean, trying to understand it. Another method of keeping human beings busy, preoccupied, attention diverted. Because that happens. Have a look. Human beings spend decades, years, on one sighting. So we did that for a while, well, not really us per se, but we just played around you because it was fun. Then, of course, other dimensional beings used the opportunity to do deliberate sightings for human beings so that their minds could race with perceptions, ideas, presumptions, assumptions of what are UFOs, does li does aliens exist? Does um, beings from other planets exist? Didn't that happen? So, human beings, aren't you preoccupied with whether UFOs exist or not instead of yourselves, your own application, why you're here while <clears throat> this world and what's happening in this world is even unbeknown to you? Because you're so preoccupied with UFOs. Look at your preoccupation. Where is your attention diverted to? To UFOs. One sighting. And then everyone's who goes into absolute uproar. So, <clears throat> but now, spaceships from interdimensional planets hasn't existed here for about 10 years. Since the interdimensional existence got closed off to Earth completely. And then the governments obviously thought, hey, that's a good idea. Design spaceships, have them float around for a while, create conspiracies within the human mind to have them remain attention-focused and divert to UFOs. I'm able to confirm with absolute, uh, with absolute certainty that there are no planets where any life form exists. It is a creation and perception of the human mind. Everything is actually. Even the 2012 occurrence. 
is of the human mind. The human mind is a powerful tool, very imaginative, and could even create and manifest things that isn't even there. Scary. Very scary. Very frightful. Just an interesting question I have. Dimensional beings don't see this manifested existence as you do. Why is that? Isn't that strange? So where does the 2012 occurrence really exist then? In the mind? Because it does not exist in the dimensions. So what are the dimensions then? Again off the topic. But... So, <clears throat> human beings, UFOs is not a freak of nature, and it's not some unidentified flying thing that you have to investigate for ten years, spending it on one site and trying to figure out everything. Here we are, saying everything to you so you can rest yourself in peace and start living. UFOs don't exist anymore. They did. They do not anymore. So... And your governments are using it to keep you preoccupied and busy, feeding the conspiracy theories of the world. While there is much greater things planned of this world for those in power and control, and then suddenly this world is going to be taken over and everyone's going to sit back and we go, but how did this happen all of a sudden? While it was planned for many years, but you were too busy with trivial, unnecessary manifestations of this world. Such as television. Television is the most deceptive manifestation of projected illusions of 3D holographics imaginative. Thank you very much. This is she.